In our video today we will be talking about what is Nexus, what benefit it provides, who is eligible to apply for a Nexus card, what the application process looks like and how long it will take. Never heard of Nexus before? That's okay. Stay with us and by the end of this video you will know all about the Nexus program, how to apply for a Nexus card, what documents are required, how long it takes to receive it and now you can start traveling more efficiently. Hi folks, we're Nat and Stappa and we talk about smart travel. The most common issue that occurs during traveling is wait lines in the airport and land border crossing. You waste time and risk missing your flight or be late. Let's be honest, waiting in lines can be a frustrating and stressful experience. As people who travel almost every month, we like to make this process enjoyable and eliminate delays. If you're a frequent traveler between Canada and US, you might benefit from getting a Nexus card. What is Nexus? Nexus is a program that provides expedited clearance for low-risk travelers at US-Canada border crossings and airports. Once the background check is done and the application is approved, Nexus card users are able to use designated lanes on the border and streamline the process of border crossing, making it less lengthy and more efficient. Benefits of Nexus Nexus makes traveling more convenient and time-saving. Here are some benefits you will receive as a Nexus card holder. Designated lanes for land border crossing, separate security lines in the airports, expedited processing upon arrival at the seaport, Upon arrival to Canada, you can use Nexus automated kiosks and that not only saves time but also allows you to avoid speaking to custom officers. Everything is handled automatically without human interaction. Nexus card holders are automatically approved for global entry, so they can use these kiosks when entering the USA from Canada. Your Nexus program number would also be a trusted traveler number for TSA pre-check. Use it when booking a flight or add it to your frequent flyer program. Nexus is cost efficient. You get the benefits of both the global entry and TSA pre-check at a lower price. TSA pre-check costs 78 US dollars, global entry is 100 US dollars, whereas Nexus is only 50 US dollars. Nexus is valid for 5 years, so at a cost of 10 dollars a year, it seems like a reasonable price for such a benefit. Now on eligibility. Nexus is available for US and Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Mexican nationals who are members of Viajero Confiable program may also apply. Children under 18 can be enrolled in Nexus program even if their parents or legal guardians are not members. If you're a permanent resident, you must have been a legal resident of Canada or the USA for at least three years before applying. Other than that, you must follow general rules of entry like not having any immigration or customs violations, providing the true information on your application and not having any prior convictions for a criminal offense in any country for which a pardon has been not issued. How to apply? What steps should be taken to get a Nexus card? To obtain a Nexus card, you will need to follow these steps. Submit an application online. Visit the official website of the Trusted Traveler Program TTP, and create an account. You will need to provide personal information such as your name, address and citizenship. Next, you will have to pay an application fee. There is a non-refundable fee of 50 US dollars that you must pay when you submit your application. Children under 18 are free. Schedule an appointment. Once your application is submitted and approved, you will be asked to schedule an interview at a Nexus Enrollment Center. You will need to bring your passport and another form of government-issued identification to the appointment. Please note, if you have any other passports other than Canadian or US, make sure to bring them to the interview as well. Attend your interview. During the interview, you will be asked about your travel history, background and other information relevant to your eligibility. The interviewer will also take your fingerprints and a photograph. We will be covering the interview process and share our experience and the questions that we were asked later in this video, so stay tuned. Wait for the approval. After your interview, your application will be reviewed and you will receive a notification via email or postal mail about whether or not you have been approved for the Nexus program. If you're approved, you will receive a Nexus card which will allow you to use the dedicated Nexus lanes at the border crossings, airports and other checkpoints. How long does this process take? The processing time for a Nexus card application can vary depending on several factors, such as the volume of application and the time of year. However, 
on average, it can take anywhere from two to six months. Once your application is pre-approved, you will be invited to have an interview with the US border officer. There is only a small number of offices that conduct such interviews and available interview slots can be limited. The dates of more convenient locations are usually booked several months ahead. That's why we chose a location near Detroit, which is less popular and had plenty of availability. You have to remember that during COVID, there were no interviews conducted for almost two years, so there is still some backlog. Here is our experience. I applied in September 2019, filed all my travel history and paid a fee of 50 US dollars. After I submitted the application and waited for approval. By the time my application was processed and I was invited for an interview, it's been already in the depth of pandemic in 2020 and all enrollment centers were shut down. When I was checking for appointments again in November 2022, there was nothing available near Toronto for the next six months. Remember that enrollment centers are still dealing with the COVID backlog of applications. I realize it has been almost four years since I filed out my original application and I just wanted to get it done. The only enrollment center that had plenty of dates available was near Detroit. Even though it was relatively far from where we live, we decided to go through with it. So we picked the days that works for both of us and decided to make it into a road trip. Check our videos from Detroit in the upper right corner. You can imagine that in four years since my application, the information I provided on file was plenty outdated and it affected the interview. Stay tuned for the details of the interview process. If you still choose to use the closest location to you and there are no slots available, keep checking every day. Some people may cancel their appointments and slots will become available sooner. Enrollment centers. Before the pandemic, you can find Nexus enrollment centers in international airports like Toronto Pearson. During the lockdown, Nexus temporarily stopped processing applications and all the centers were closed. They only started reopening in April 2022 and are now only available at the land borders. Canada only has two enrollment centers, one at the Buffalo Fort Erie crossing and another at the Thousand Islands crossing not far from Kingston, Ontario. The US currently has 13 enrollment centers all alongside borderline but mostly concentrated in the east. Interview Make sure to come to your interview on time, don't be late, and also don't come earlier than one hour before your appointment. Parking slots are usually limited, so they might not let you in beforehand. The interview itself takes about 15 minutes, you'll be asked several background questions and provide your fingerprints, and a photo will be taken for your profile. It will also be printed on your Nexus card that you'll be using for the next five years, so be prepared and smile. Let's give an example of what questions they asked us. It was more straightforward for Steppa as she just submitted her application only two months prior to the interview. First, the officers confirm all the information on file, they confirm Steppa's current address, what year did she come to Canada, what she studied, how her education is related to her occupation right now. We don't know what's that about, but nevertheless. For me, it was a bit less straightforward. As I mentioned, I applied in September 2019 and since then, things like job, places where I live, and especially the list of places that I visited changed a lot. After some back and forth, officer asked me to update my information via email. Good to know that some up-to-date data can be submitted after your interview. After that, officer asked me to name the countries I visited since I filed my original application. I tried to remember all the countries on the spot, which was very challenging. She asked me about one specific destination and why I went to Turkey last summer. I provided the explanation. After that, she took my fingerprints and a picture. After you have completed your Nexus interview and your application has been approved, the US Customs and Border Protection CBP and Canadian Border Services Agency CBSA, will conduct background checks and your card will be manufactured and sent to you by mail. You'll be able to track the status of your application and card online through the TTP website. The card usually comes within one month after your interview. After you receive the card, you'll be asked to activate it through the same portal that you applied for. 
And that's it. Welcome to the world of fast track traveling. Enjoy your separate lane security check. Restrictions you must know before using Nexus. When crossing the border by land, the entire group in your car needs to be Nexus holders. If there are any members without Nexus cards, you must not use the Nexus lane. You can still use your Nexus card as a passport in the regular traffic lanes. Your Nexus card will be revoked if you carry non-Nexus passengers and let them out to walk across the border. There are not that many enrollment centers across the country, only 13 in the US and 2 in Canada. They are all located alongside the Canada-US border, so if you live far from the border, it becomes more difficult to schedule an interview appointment. Not many appointments are available. At some points, waiting time may exceed six months. Summary. To summarize the Nexus program, here's what we want to highlight. As a Nexus card holder, you will get expedited land and marine border crossings, expedited airport security screening, access to global entry at US airports, faster processing at Canadian airports through self-service Nexus kiosks, cost effectiveness. The cost of Nexus card is lower than the combined cost of applying for TSA pre-check and global entry separately. It is valid for five years. The application process is straightforward, but approval can take several months. The personal interview is the final step and needs to be booked in one of the enrollment centers near the border. The enrollment centers are limited and interview slots are usually scarce, so make sure to book in advance and check appointment times in all the centers, not just the one closest to you. Overall, a Nexus card can be a valuable tool to streamline the border crossing experience and the airport security screening process. If you found this video helpful, give us a shout out in the comment and join our community by hitting subscribe button on our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, until next time!